So this is another project that I'm really passionate about now, and I got in, uh, in it early, early this year. And uh, if, you, if you recognize any of these um, words, probably some of them you do, some of them you don't. The point is that uh, a regular user, if you think about what's going, what it's going to take to make cryptocurrencies a reality for everyday people and, and uh, basically get the, the mainstream adaptation to start, what we need is to make it a lot more simple. We are, we are like in the 95 of internet um, level of uh, technical knowledge needed to actually use cryptocurrencies effect effectively. So what, uh, what we economy is proposing to do is to create an interface for cryptocurrency, namely Bitcoin. The underlying asset would be Bitcoin. The only, only thing is the user wouldn't have, any, have to know, have any other knowledge except how to use a smartphone, how to download an application, and everything will be taken care of by the application. So this would be a way for, uh, for anybody in the world to trade anything with anybody else anytime. So the, the idea is that um, when you open the app, first of all, how we lure the new, new customers, there will be a treasury model which will be de a decentralized smart contract that would then uh, pay out uh, a small so-called airdrop of bitcoins that will be denoted in the local currency. So let's say that you live in Finland and you download our application and then um, you will get the 20 euros worth of bitcoin that you can use on the platform to buy services or, or goods from anybody in, um, in the world. And, and how, how this would work is that there will, no, there will be no central party, there will be a smart contract that is an escrow, that then uh, the funds get transferred to that escrow, and once both parties are happy with the transaction, the, the funds will be released uh, from the escrow, and, and there will be a feedback system that we call karma, and then um, each, of, each of the participants will uh, rate the other's karma, and, and this way there will be like this decentralized trust system uh, built in, kind of like uh, what eBay popularized, this kind of um, um, re uh, review system of, of your peers. And actually, uh, I'm, I'm just going to quickly announce that we are opening the, um, we are opening the sign up for the alpha. And actually, I was thinking it would be, the be it would be an awesome place to test it out, like the, the village here. There's already a community of tech students that are probably some, some of you are students here and probably are interested in using these kind of new applications and we would get a lot of uh, valuable data from that. So if you're interested at all, I'll give you the address later. It's uh, alpha.weconomy.io and uh, that's where you will find it. And if you want to, there's only, we're only going to take 200 people who register first and that will be the, we already have an application that is actually uh, functioning. Um, it's not quite uh, on MVP level yet, but there's, um, we can make it work. So here's some uh, screenshots of the app. As you can see, uh, we paid a lot of attention, or rather our uh, founder, Alex, has paid a lot of attention uh, to make it look neat, make it look appealing. And of course, there's a lot of more work to do, but this is already, in my opinion, way more than most projects have at, the, at an ICO stage. And when it comes to ICO, we are actually, uh, we're not even thinking about incorporating uh, a company around this because to, for this kind of platform to succeed, I think it needs to be totally uh, decentralized. So we are attempting to build it without a company and on, to, on top of uh, Bitcoin uh, blockchain using uh, rootstock smart contracts. So that's going to be interesting or, or a similar, similar system. So what Rootstock does is it enables ERC-20 smart contracts to be built on, on block, uh, Bitcoin blockchain, which, uh, like we discussed earlier at the moment, is the only proven, provenly safe uh, chain. And that's why um, I think we, ha we have to try and use it. So yeah, about the business model, the, the main business uh, is that we want to expedite the uh, mainstream adaptation of Bitcoin and that, that will be the long-term revenue coming from there, the value increase of Bitcoin. And, and then on top of that, there needs to be an incentivization system for developers to keep fixing bugs and adding, adding some features. So there will be an incorporated voting system and flagging system for, 
for bugs and, and uh, suggestions that, that will get voted on to this uh, We Economy like development pipeline from where uh, prospecting developers could just pick up some um, uh, tasks that need to be done and it will include a, a reward that will be payable from Treasury. And the Treasury will be a smart contract that will take a small tiny micro cut of each and every transaction going on in the network. So that way it will be uh, autonomous uh, decentralized application, at least in theory. So here's the address. Uh, if you're interested, if you want to learn more, I'm, I'm always happy to talk about uh, my projects. And uh, if, you want, if you're interested in joining the, the first wave, go to alpha.weconomy.io and register. And uh, we'll, we'll be in touch with you shortly once, once we have managed to actually have a downloadable app, which I assume will be during the summer. All right, that was, that was rather quick. Um, yeah, like I said, let's save the questions for the, for the after party. And without uh, further ado, I'll give the mic to Fred Darst here.